Hey, in today's video, um, I'm trying to run a game called Fallout 3, and I recently updated the game, and I can't run the game anymore because it requires games for Microsoft Live, which you can see here. I get this error. It says I don't have the xlive.dll file, which you can see. But there's a way that you could work around this problem. So this is a direct link that you could use to download games for Microsoft uh, Live. So I could go here, direct link to download it. And this is a safe site. And I'll show you that. This is Microsoft's website. So there's nothing malicious about this software that I downloaded. So I just run this program, say yes here. You're, uh, it failed to install because games for Windows Marketplace is no longer supported by Microsoft. Okay, that's all good. So don't close this and stay at, uh, go to log folder. Go to the previous uh, file, previous part of the directory. It's not that there go to download what you want to do is you want to copy copy that I guess we could paste it These two files will need accept install yes. finish install the next one. Okay, that's it. Exit. Now I should have that file in my Windows folder, which is in here. <coughs> Let me see if I can find that file. Let's see if I could run the game or not. As you can see that th this game is running now. I'm able to run this. Okay. So I'm able to run Fallout 3, uh, which required a um, game for Windows Live, and that's it. That's all you have to do to get it to run. So uh, since it wouldn't enable you to install it, I just had to extract the files these two files so I could install it onto my computer. They do offer solutions for this. Telling you to go to Microsoft uh, store and buy it. Here. There's no link for the link for the file that I just uh, installed. This is what you get. This is the problem that I got. This is a solution that Microsoft offers. They don't offer you a link where you can download that. Just go to Microsoft uh, Store.
and buy the game that I bought back in 2008, <laughs> which is which is stupid. This is not my fault. This is this is because they're not supporting it anymore. I could go here and buy it for 19.99 when I bought the game back in 2008 for 49.99. I have to buy it again? I don't think so. Okay, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, you could leave in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.